The energy system in the Netherlands is changing, with more and more people generating energy themselves. For example, through the use of solar panels or wind turbines, which is good news. This is also creating new opportunities, not just for existing players, but also for new parties and new markets, who have to ensure that energy supply and demand are more closely aligned. We're now going to study how best to do this at our Smart Energy Field Trial in Hirochovart. For example, the sun is strongest at about midday, generating a lot of renewable energy. Of course, many people are at work during the day, so very little energy is consumed at home during this time. In the evening, by contrast, not much renewable energy is being made, but a lot of energy is being consumed. Ah. <laughs> A large proportion of this energy, therefore, still has to come from power plants. But we know we can do things smarter and more sustainably. How? That's what we're studying in the energy field trial, based on a smart energy system connected to smart appliances. The electric boiler consumes electricity, for example, from solar panels, to heat water during the day, which residents can then use in the evening. The heat pump ensures that less energy is needed to heat the house or to produce hot water. Both appliances reduce demand on the energy network, especially at night. The fuel cell resembles a miniature power plant, converting gas very efficiently into enough electricity to run several households. What's more, it can be switched on or off depending on local demand. The solar switch can temporarily shut down solar panels when much more energy is being produced than is being consumed. The smart energy system automatically turns the appliances on and off at the right times, balancing supply and demand. It also enables all stakeholders to work together and share information efficiently, so that energy remains sustainable, reliable and affordable, now and in the future.